Alright, budget magic time. Playing some free win white and modern. And we'll keep this one. It's a fine-ish six. Cast style, and yeah, we'll keep it to the top. That's fine. Uh, let's just port town. Reveal island. This lets us take a peek at what our opponent's doing. Ooh. Alright. Tron time. This means we're probably going to need to draw spreading seas. Oh, it's blue Tron. Repeal treasure mage and three islands. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's better or worse for us. Well, we got a spreading seas. That's good. So, yeah, let's just shut off a Tron land. Pass the turn. If we can keep our opponent off Tron, our ghostly prisons might be somewhat helpful. And we can also name mind slavers and stuff like that that our opponent will likely be casting. Opponent gets a Tron piece. Well, we pass. Hers is mine for our opponent. Well, play another ghostly prison. Opponent thirsts. Discards two lands. We'll play temple. Eh, we'll keep spreading seas. Spreading seas is pretty sweet. Pass the turn. Another island for our opponent. Well, let's start by peeking. Get an update on what's in our opponent's hand. Oh boy. Repeal, repeal, condescend, remand, ghost quarter, treasure mage. Uh, sure. Play a planes. And I guess we just pass for now. Our opponent can just condescend if we try to spreading seas. There's a ghost quarter. And an expedition map. I'll play the island, and this means we do get to spreading seas Urza's mine. Even through condescend. Opponent remands. Then we spreading seas again. Draw a card. And pass the turn. Opponent cracks it. <laughs> Still trying to put together Tron. We're definitely doing a good job of slowing our opponent down. And we got one remand, or we got a remand out of their hand, but they still have Condescend. Alright, more ramp. So I think we know our opponent's hand. Minus one card? One. Alright, let's play Nevermore. Is our opponent going to Condescend? Yeah, alright. Opponent gets to Condescend. Uh, well, we'll pass the turn, I guess. Opponent scryed one to the top. Still not very close to Tron. Uh, let's cycle one of our cast outs into a land. Well, Spreading Sea is the power plant. Opponent remands. That was the one card we didn't know about. Spreading Sea is the power plant. Play a planes. Pass the turn. Opponent repeals Spreading Seas. Well, thank you, opponent. We will Spreading Seas your power plant. Probably would have been better to do that at the end of turn. And, yep. Pass the turn. Eight mana, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. That is a little troubling. Although we do get to cast out it. Yep, there goes our Spreading Seas. Well, Spreading Seas Tower. Detention Sphere, Ugin. Usually Blue Tron is not playing Ugins. But this build apparently is. They sometimes play like one Ugin. <sighs> Repeals to get back the Ugin. Yeah, we might be dead now. That surprise Ugin getting us. Now our opponent has tons of mana. Plays a Treasure Mage. Gets Mind Slaver. Plays Treasure Mage. Gets Sundering Titan. Plays Solemn Simulacrum. Holy. Okay. Well, play Detention Sphere. Get rid of Treasure Mages. Play Detention Sphere. Get rid of Ugin. Play Journey to Nowhere. Our enchantment plan does match up poorly against Ugin in specific. And we weren't able to resolve a way to deal with Ugin. Opponent gets Mind Slaver, which does literal nothing here. I guess our opponent can waste our cast out by putting it on their mana rock. Sundering Titan. Blows up two of our lands. They're going to learn that they can't cast out our permanence. They have to target their own permanence. I think they were thinking, oh, we'll go get a detention sphere. Nope. That is not how cast out works. So our opponent has to get their own mana rock. <laughs> 
I mean, I guess it keeps us from doing it on the Sundering Titan. So, yeah. I mean, pretty bad Mind Slaver. The problem is our opponent can draw the Mind Slaver lock, and then we're in trouble if we don't draw anything to deal with it. More Mana Rocks. Only one card in hand. They have another Mind Slaver in hand. Opponent is out of cards. So they can steal our next turn, but we're not dead, and they're out of cards. We draw land, does nothing. So all our opponent can do is tap us out and pass the turn, and hope they top deck. Ugh. I guess they also get to ghost quarter one of our lands and not find anything. And look at our deck. Well, thankfully we have Sundering Titan covered. Assuming our opponent doesn't top deck. Opponent gets in with Sundering Titan. Down to six. We'll play Port Town. Untapped. Actually, this is risky. Opponent could draw Remand. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just pass. Trust that Condemn will save us. Sphere doesn't do much anyway. Opponent finds a Thirst. We haven't drawn many of our things that are helpful in this matchup, unfortunately. Expedition Map. Cracks it. Academy Ruins. Plays Academy Ruins. Yeah, this might be a bad matchup. No attacks. Path. And that does it. Our opponent can just keep getting back Mind Slaver now, and we can't win. Alright. Huh. Well, we get to bring in all of our negates, we get to bring in our dispels, we get to bring in our disenchants, and our main hope is to deal with our opponent's stuff preemptively. Go down a lot of our removal, well you will keep sphere of safety, and maybe go down... we gotta cut one more card. So we need to like lock Ugin out of the game, because the one of Ugin really got us there. I guess we can go down one journey to nowhere. Try it like that. So I think we have the tools to compete with this. But we gotta get our stuff in the right order. So we get to play first. Okay. This isn't bad. We have a Gideon's Intervention. And a Spreading Seas. So the main trick is gonna be resolving this on something important. Lead on an island. Pass the turn. Opponent leads on mine. Well, let's take a peek. See what our opponent's working with. Cyclonic Rift, Snapcaster, Engineered, Mana Rock, Surgical, and the Tower. Disenchant's not bad. Well, I think we just Glacial Fortress and lead on Spreading Seas. Seems weird to give our opponent blue mana, but they're going to have blue mana anyway from their Mana Rock, which is most likely coming down this turn. There's the Mana Rock. So, play Telepathy. Play Glacial Fortress... And I think we just disenchant the Mana Rock. That keeps our opponent from playing Explosives X2 and killing our Spreading Seas. Opponent gets a Mind Slaver. And passes. We draw a Ghost Quarter. So question one is what do we name? Play the Planes. I think we start by Gideon's Intervention. And I think first one's actually got to go on Cyclonic Rift. Because it just bounces our Gideon's Intervention. Opponent's going to cast it right now. Okay. Bounces our Telepathy. So we'll name Snapcaster Mage. Pass the turn. Because then our opponent could Snapcaster flash back the Rift. Well, play Telepathy. Spreading Seas the Tower. Play the Island. Pass the turn. Opponent draws an Island. Still not much going on. Eh, Alright, we'll untap. Journey to Nowhere. Play Ghost Quarter. Pass the turn. So we're kind of hoping our opponent just plays Mind Slaver. Surgical or Disenchant. Eh, not very scary. We only have one more in our deck. Wouldn't mind drawing a counter. Opponent draws Repeal. Well, let's Cycle Cyclonic, or er, cast out. Dispel's good. That stops Repeal. Temple, get a Scry. Detention Sphere to the bottom for now. We'd like a way to actually close out the game. If our opponent repeals, we are going to dispel. Sundering Titan. Opponent's a ways away from casting that. And passes. Temple, Scry, Peak. I don't think we really care about Peak. We can already see our opponent's hand, so pass the turn. Thirst is kind of good for our opponent. Opponent Thirst. Finds a counter and an Academy Ruins and an Oblivion Stone. 
plays Academy Ruins. Oblivion Stone can be a problem. Opponent casts it. So that means we need to cast out. Get rid of it. Come on, finisher. All right. Well, negate's not the worst. I still wish we were closing out this game, though. Opponent gets a Tron piece. And passes. We draw more lands. All right. Pass the turn. See what our opponent draws. All right. Going to get back their mana rock. That's fine. Draws the mana rock. Plays the mana rock. This does mean we have to negate the engineered explosives. Another land. Yeah, we're just not not finding a way to close out this game, unfortunately. Opponent gets back engineered explosives, so we'll ghost quarter the academy ruins. Engineered explosives. Negate. So we kind of time walked our opponent for a negate. I don't know if that was the best way of going about it, but more negates, pass the turn. Opponent more condescends and passes. Play a planes, pass the turn. Ugin. Ugin's scary. Can't let that resolve. Island, pass the turn. Eh, I don't know, not feeling too confident here. Opponent draws a remand. Planes, pass the turn. Opponent draws a thirst for knowledge. That's not good. I think we have to counter that, but that opens us up to Ugin if we don't draw anything. Problem is they can hit Tron here. Yeah, let's negate. Opponent remands the negate. Draws an... Oh, remands the... Yep, thirst. And draws a land so they can still thirst. And I think we are running out of time here. We got things locked in. We just didn't... Oh, another land... We got things locked in, we just never found a finisher. And our opponent found Tron, and that's game. Yep. Oh, yeah. We just... Ah, so many lands, not enough Gideon's interventions. We needed to be able to start locking out Ugin's and stuff, and we just... We went through half of our deck with only one Gideon's intervention, and not much else. Many lands, though. So, yeah. Yeah? I think if we had drawn a finisher, we very likely would have won that game but we only have two finishers so it's gonna happen sometimes thanks for watching the video if you're subscribed make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos it's a great way to support the channel for free and you can find the next video right here